Today I'm going to do a little parted magic uh, demo. Um, it's no longer a free download, but if you add it to your cart and then just pay with PayPal, uh, your 10 bucks, you get to this screen. Okay. And I went ahead and downloaded it. It took a while from location one. Maybe you'll try location two. I'm in North America. Uh, the other utility you'll need is Rufus. So if you haven't seen this article already at tinkertray.com, um, it's free download. So just go there and you download Rufus, which I already did. So that, that's the downloads I did right before recording this video. There they are, two files. We need to make bootable media, bootable USB flash drive. So with Rufus, that's pretty darn simple. Now that we have the flash drive installed, the one gig, it's going to take care of reformatting it for us. We don't want free DOS. Instead, we want to point to this ISO file, PQ Magic. So if you have an SSD that's acting weird, uh, running parted magic on it can be a good idea, and doing a secure race should make it act like new uh, if the drive is not truly defective. Or if it's underperforming, like say you filled it 100% and it uh, got slow. This is particularly true on SSDs from before like 2011. Uh, they definitely have some issues if you got them too full. All right, so I finished up. It says done at the bottom. It took it almost six minutes. It's a slow, ancient drive I happened to grab. Not something I boot off of very often. The speed doesn't really matter. Now I'm clicking on the system tray icon to gracefully eject the hardware, which you can see right here. There we go, my Windows 8.1 machine, it just gracefully ejected the hardware. Okay, so I'm pulling it out of the machine where I built it, and now I've got another laptop that I'm gonna to try to boot from this USB drive. And uh, you'll see one problem I have is, um, as I try to boot off this hard drive, it's encrypted. So let me uh, get that out of the way. Well, I don't care too much about that because I'm about to blow away the drive. So. so on the laptop, I powered it off. I'm pushing and holding power. Now I'm going to power it on and get ready on the F12 key. On the Lenovo ThinkPad, that happens to be your hot key. To boot from an alternative device. In this case, a USB drive. Hopefully you'll see some video soon. Okay, so now we have video, and I hit F12 on the keyboard for a ThinkPad to get an alternate boot sequence. And there we go, we can pick the USB flash storage. So now we're booting off the parted media. And for this screen, if we wait 15 more seconds, it's just going to continue to boot. Okay, this is what parted magic looks like. Erase disk is what I want. Double click. Samsung 830, so it found the drive. It's saying I'm on battery power. Is that true? Yes, it is. I forgot to plug it in before this video. So um doesn't want your battery to die on your laptop at a inopportune moment. Cratering things. So that's good. It warned me. Now let's see what happens. I click OK. Alright, it's saying it's frozen. It won't let me secure erase it yet. So we put the laptop to sleep by clicking sleep. This works. The moon, uh, half moon LED now shows. Laptop's all quiet. And then it woke right back up again. That was interesting.
Now we just simply wait. Success. So it took nowhere near lo as long as uh, it had hinted. And it looks like they've added a big quit button to the desktop, which makes it rather simple to then ask it to turn off the computer. Okay, the computer's all quiet. It's got a blank hard drive in there. Part of D is no longer needed. Sorry, part of magic. So I'm pulling out the USB flash drive. And now I'm just turning on the laptop. And instead of the SSD complaining about an encryption key, it should just be blank. But notice it didn't come up with a semantic or encryption. Okay, it just keeps going to the LAN because it can't find anything on the, the C drive. I just shoved in a USB key. Boot again here, reboot again. We're going to see that it found a Windows 10 installer USB key that I made with the same Rufus utility. And now I should be able to lay down an operating system just fine on this SSD that we just wiped. And because it couldn't find anything else to boot from, it just went right to the USB key. So now it's booting the Windows 10 installer. And there you have it. An empty drive. So we click Next. That's what's going to try to make a large NTFS file system on it. And then it's going to start pushing files onto that SSD. Depending upon how your boot order is set, you may need to, um, you know, pull out the USB media at this point to make sure it boots off of a hard drive instead of right off the USB media. And if we have a look at Device Manager, there's our Samsung 830 that we had just wiped. Okay. I'll also point under Details, if you go into Hardware IDs, that's where you get a hint of the firmware on some products. Uh, CXM0, for instance, on this SSD. We're done. The SSD is refreshed. We can do benchmarks, performance, before and after. Uh, in my case, I was really just trying to reuse a drive that had some encryption on it. Uh, we're good to go. Thank you. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And thank you for visiting Tinkertry.com.